for a minute, then we'll get started. I'll walk you guys through the war warm up and everything. Cool. All right. So, team, today's session is all about the glutes. We're definitely working that lower body today. And you know, the glutes is part of that posterior chain, you know, your low back, your glutes, your hamstrings. By strengthening your glutes, they're gonna help reduce your lower back pain. It's gonna help with your posture. It's gonna help build your balance and your stability. So this is a great workout for you guys today. Again, if you have a mat, feel free to bring it. If not, it's totally cool. We can do most of the stuff standing. We will be using some hand weights just briefly. If you don't have them, it's totally cool. You're still gonna get that benefit burn. Awesome. All right, one more minute, then we'll get warmed up. But let me just walk you through the workout really quick. So we're gonna roll through three blocks of movements, right? Three blocks of movements for about 30 seconds each. I'm gonna give you guys like 15 to 20 seconds of rest of recovery in between your sets. And we're gonna repeat those three blocks of movements three times. Again, it's gonna be all about the lower body. We'll throw some stretches into the mix at the very end. But if you guys are ready, I'm ready. Awesome, awesome. All right, so grab that water, grab some space, and then let's get warmed up together. And again, if you guys can't hear me or see me, feel free to send me a shout out or throw, throw a message in the chat and I will be happy to adjust. Awesome, everyone ready for this? Let's do it. So let's start off with, with our warm up. We're gonna activate that lower body. So that first move, my favorite move, should be your favorite movement by now, your alternating hamstring curls. So again, just meet me here. We're just gonna alternate, bringing your heels towards your glutes. You're bending those knees. You're bringing those heels towards the glutes. We're warming up the back of your legs. We're loosening up the knees. You got it. So again, stay here for another 10 seconds. 10 seconds here again, warming up that lower body. We're here for three, two, and one, perfect. Now we're going to your alternating knee drives. So again, meet me here, we're gonna alternate. Drive your knees towards your chest. And what we're doing here is we're warming up those quad extenders, AKA your hip flexors. Again, taking your time, drive your knees towards your chest. You're landing nice and soft. And feel free to pump those arms too, cause we're warming everything up. You got it. Stay here for another five. Four, three, two, and one. Awesome. All right, team. So move number three, it's, again, we're still warming up. We're gonna open up that stance. We're nice and wide. And what I want you to do is just shift your weight to the right. So we're bending that right knee. You're pushing your hips back. You're leaning forward just a little bit. I want you to feel the stretch in the inner thighs and the hips. And then I just want you to flow to the opposite side. You got it? Awesome, so let's keep it going. So we're just shifting from right to left. And again, I want you to lean forward with it a little bit because I want you to feel the stretch in the low back, but I also want you to feel the activation in your hips. We're gonna be doing a lot of squats today, so let's warm up those hips. We're here for another three, two, and one. Slowly bring it back up, awesome. All right, team, so now that you know what's going on, let's roll through it one more time. All right, you ready? Meet me here, alternating hamstring curls. So again, bringing those heels towards your glutes. Landing nice and soft. But again, you pick your pace. If you got some energy to burn, you can always jog it out. Yeah. You got it. Taking your time, bringing those heels towards the glutes. Feel the work in the back of your legs. We're almost there. Three, three, two, two, and one. <laughs> awesome. All right, alternating knee drives. So again, it's just a high knee. Drive your knees in towards your chest. If you can, try to stay nice and tall. Pull that belly button in, try to keep the core tight. And again, stay right here. We're still warming up the body, but if you got some energy to burn, you can jog it out. I'm gonna stay here for another five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Great job, team. Last movement, just to get you activated. We're gonna open up our stance. Again, I have my hands on my hips and we're just shifting from right to left. So again, remember to push the hips back. You want to feel the stretch in those abductors, those inner thighs. Lean forward a little bit, feel in the hamstrings and the low back. We're almost there. Stay here for another five seconds. Four, three, 
two, and one. Slowly bring it back up. Awesome, great job team. Now that you're nice and warmed up, feel free to grab a quick drink if you need it. And then we're gonna work through that first block of movements. So again, our first three movements of the workout, we're gonna do some free squats. We're gonna take it to an alternating lunge, step back lunge. And then we're gonna get on the ground briefly and get some glute bridges into the mix. But first things first, let's take it to some free squats. So let's position up. You got your feet flat. I want you to open up your stance about shoulder width apart. We push those hips back. We bend those knees, chest up, head up. Meet me at the top. You ready? 30 seconds worth of free squats. We're going in three, two, one, and let's go. So again, with these squats, I want you to focus on allowing your knees to flare open on the way down, right? I want you to try to connect your breathing with your movement. So I'm breathing out on the way down, inhaling on the way up, you got it. And try to keep that core tight. That's just us pulling in that belly button towards your body, keeping that core tight. You got it. Keep it going, team. Stay here for another 10 seconds. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job, team. So let's take that 20 second break. Just enough time to grab a quick drink if you need it. Just enough time to stretch it out if you need it. But again, those squats, it targets the quads, the glutes, a little bit in the hamstrings. Awesome. All right, you ready for our next movement? So alternating reverse lunge. And again, we're gonna move for 30 seconds. So again, start at the top of your mat. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna step back with that right leg, drop that back, back knee, squeeze the glutes, try to stay nice and tall. Bring that foot back to the middle, back to the front. And then we step back to the opposite side. All right, team, you ready for this? 30 seconds. We're going in three, two, one, and let's work. So again, it's a reverse lunge, but we're alternating. Stepping back to the right, nice and tall, let that knee drop, squeeze the glutes, back to the middle, going to the opposite side. And again, this is that movement where you can pick your own pace. You can speed it up if you like. I just want you to stay in control. I want you to feel the work in the lower body, the glutes and the quads or take your time. Maybe hold this for a half second before you power back to the top. Make this movement your own. We're almost there, team. Five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. Awesome. All right, 20 seconds of recovery. Again, grab that quick drink if you need it. Team, our next move is a glute bridge. So for those who cannot don't have the space to get, get on the ground. If you want, you do have options. Always good to have options. You can just hold the squat isometrically. So you can hang out here for that full 30 seconds. For those of you who have some space to get on the ground, we're going to take it to a glute bridge. So you're flat to your back. You have your, you have your, not your palms, but the flat, your feet flat to the ground. Relax the upper body. I just want you to lift those hips towards the sky and squeeze those glutes and just hold tight here. All right, team, you ready for it? Again, we're gonna hold for 30 seconds in five, four, three, two, one, and then let's work. So again, if you're on your back, if you're in that glute bridge position, lift through the hips, right? Squeeze the glutes, you got it. Pull the belly button in, keep the core tight, and don't forget to breathe. Give me those deep inhales and exhales. So stay here in this position, feel the work in the hamstrings, the glutes, and the low back. For those of you who are in that squat position, Stay low, stay low. You got it. Keep that core tight, hold tight, feel that work in that lower body. We're almost there. Stay here for another five, four, three, two, and one. Great job, team. Lower, lower that lower back to the mat. You can hug your knees if you need that quick stretch. And then whenever you're ready, we're gonna slowly transition back to our feet. And that's it, team. Those are three movements. We get to roll through it one more time, but take that 20 second break, grab a quick drink if you need it, grab a quick stretch, you got it. Woo! All right team, so round two, 30 seconds worth of free squats. And I, th the way I want you to treat this, this part of the workout is, try to give me as many squats as you can 
in 30 seconds. But again, I want you to perfect that form. You ready? So we're going in another five, four, three, two, one, let's go. So again, give me 30 seconds versus pre-squats. And again, you can extend your arms all the way down. You can keep your arms in that guarded position here, but I definitely want those knees to flare out on the way down. Keeping your feet flat. Again, try to get low and you pick your pace. And don't forget to breathe. I'm breathing out on the way down. You got it. Keep it going. We're so close to Give me 10 more seconds. Squeeze in five more reps. Way to work those legs. Fill it in the quads. Fill it in the glutes. Keep that core tight. Three, two, one, and relax. Well done, everyone. Grab a breath. Grab a drink. Get a quick stretch in if you need to. You get 20 seconds. And then we're gonna go to our alternating. Alternating reverse lunges. Woo! All right, team. So again, if you're having trouble with these lunges, it is totally fine to hold on to the wall, a chair, a co-worker, whatever's uh, comfortable for you, but just keep it moving for 30 seconds. You ready for it? We're going in five, four, three, two, one, let's go. So again, we're just alternating. I'm stepping back with my left leg. I'm in that lunge position, stepping back to the middle, and then I'm stepping back to the right. So again, I'm alternating my lunges, dropping that back knee, try to stay nice and tall, pull that belly button in, keep that core tight, and that's gonna keep you stable too. You got it. But again, feel that work in that lower body. We're so close to you. Stay here for another five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Breathe it out, stretch it out. Great job, everyone. Woo. All right, ready for those glute bridges? So we're gonna stay here. If we can't get on the ground, just in that ISO um, squat, squat, or we can stay in that glute bridge. Either way, let's work for 30 seconds. You ready? We're set and let's go. So again, if you can't get on the ground, stay here. ISO squat, just getting low, bending our knees, pushing the hips back. Stay here, continue to breathe. If you have that opportunity to get on the ground, I love this movement here, the glute bridge. Feet flat, lift the hips, squeeze the glutes, because you feel the stretch of the hips, but you're also challenging the back of your legs, the hamstrings, the glutes, the low back. Breathe it out, stay here for another five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent, everyone. Again, if you're on your back, feel free to hug the knees just to get that quality, that quick stretch in. Breathe it out. Same thing if you're um, standing, you can get a quick stretch in just by hinging at the hips and just reaching towards your knees, maybe towards your ankles, chin to your chest, and just breathe it out. Just a quick stretch to the back of your legs and that low back. Stay there for another 20 seconds if you need to. Feel free to grab a quick drink. Great job, everyone. Look at that, first block of movements done. Awesome, everyone good? Perfect, all right. So we're moving to our second block of movements. So if you have some dumbbells, feel free to bring them to the party. If not, it's totally cool. I'm working with um, 10 pound dumbbells. And the way we're gonna treat these dumbbells is if you can use two or you can just use one. And we're gonna take it to a goblet squat. So again, meet me here. We're gonna open up that stance about shoulder width apart. Bring your elbows super tight to the body. And then we're gonna push the hips back. And then we're gonna come back up. That's your goblet squat. And again, if you don't have a dumbbell, if you don't have any hand weights, you can just pretend like you have a hand weight in your hand, keep the elbows in tight, and then meet me here with that goblet squat. You guys ready for this action? Let's do it. 30 seconds. We're going in three, two, one, and let's go. You got it. Chest up, head up, keep your feet flat. You got it. So again, the reason why I love this movement here, the goblet squat, because not only that you work the front of your legs, the quads, the glutes, you're also getting the inner thighs too. You got it. And again, just by adding that load, adding that weight, it challenges the body just a little bit more. That's what we're here for, right? For that extra challenge throughout the day. We're here for another three, two, 
and one. Great job, everyone. Take your 20 seconds, breathe it out. Well done. Awesome. So again, let me know. Hopefully everyone can see me and hear me okay. If not, just shoot me a message. I can adjust for you. So we're moving into that second movement. It's a split stance deadlift. One of my favorite movements of all time is gonna hit the hamstrings, it's gonna hit the glutes. So again, I'm working with two dumbbells. You can use one, you can go without any hand weights. But meet me here in this split stance. I'm gonna step back with that right leg. My left leg is out front. I want you to use your back leg, that back heel as a kickstand. As you push the hips back, and I want you to meet me mid-shin, make sure your back is flat. We come up, we drive the hips forward, and we squeeze the glutes. All right, everyone ready for this? So again, you can go without any hand weights too. We're going in three, two, one, let's go. So again, push the hip back, go mid-shin. We drive the hips forward on the way back up. You got it. 30 seconds of work. Maybe try to shoot for eight to 10 reps, but you want to feel the work in your glutes. You want to feel it in the back of your legs. Again, you want to drive the hips forward on the way up. And don't forget to breathe, team. I'm breathing out on the way down. I'm inhaling on the way up. You got it, almost there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent, great job, everyone. So we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. So now, my right leg is out front. I'm stepping back with my left leg. Again, you can lift that back heel. Just use that back heel as a kickstand. Again, we push the hips back, reach mid shin, try to keep that back flat. We drive the hips forward. You ready for this? 30 seconds. Three, two, one, let's go. So again, if you don't have any dumbbells, you're still gonna feel that work. So you're gonna feel the work in the glutes, the hamstrings, even in the low back. But again, if you're looking for that extra challenge, you use one dumbbell. You can double it up, you can use two dumbbells. If you have a kettlebell, you can use a kettlebell. It's all about you. You make this workout work best for you. Just continue to breathe through the movement and always continue to challenge yourself. Or modify if it's too challenging. You got this, we're almost there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Great job team. Well done, well done. So again, that was a split stance deadlift. We're gonna take that 20 second break and we're gonna roll through it one more time. So we're going goblet squats, split stance deadlift to the left and to the right. You ready? I'll give you guys another 10 seconds. Take another 10 seconds, grab that drink if you need to, grab a quick stretch if you need to. And then we'll start off, we'll flow right into those goblet squats. So again, I'm using my dumbbell this time. My elbow is super tight to the body. I'm opening up my stance. So when you come down, make sure those knees flare open on the way down. Give that body some room to work. We power back up. You ready for this team? 30 seconds, we're going in three, two, one. Let's go, you got it. So on the way up, drive the hips forward, squeeze the glutes, then we come back down. You pick your own pace, whatever's comfortable. But don't forget to breathe. Breathe through the work. Keep challenging yourselves. You got this. Stay strong for another 10 seconds. Give you 10 more seconds of work. Try to squeeze in three to four more reps. You got it, you got it. Four, three, two, and one. Well done, team. Woo. Take your 20 seconds. Breathe it out, stretch it out, do whatever you need to do because we're gonna flow right into that single leg deadlift. So this time, I'm gonna start with my left leg out front. Again, step back to the right. I'm gonna lift that back heel. I'm bending my right knee just a little bit. I'm using one dumbbell this time, pushing your hips back, go about mid chin, and then power up. Again, you need to drive the hips forward. You need to squeeze the glutes. We're ready, we're set, let's go. So 30 seconds, it's a split stance deadlift. And oh yes, you're gonna feel it throughout that lower body. The glutes, the hamstrings, we're gonna feel it in that lower back too. That's part of that posterior chain. You wanna strengthen that entire area. 
And you guys got it. Stay here for another 10 seconds. You pick your pace. You can speed it up if you like, but stay in control. Three, two, one. Well done. Take your breather. 15 to 20 seconds. Just enough time to grab a quick drink, grab a quick stretch. So let's switch it up. So my right leg is going coming out front. I'll give you guys a different angle. Right leg in front, left leg back. You can use two dumbbells if you like. But remember, the main movement of this workout is to drive the hips forward, or drive the hips back, and then drive them forward. All right, you ready for it? Three, two, one. Let's go for it. You got it, team. Keep that chest up, keep that head up. And then remember, on the way up, make it work. Squeeze the glutes. Drive those hips forward. You got it. We're almost there. Keep doing what you're doing because you're doing great. Way to challenge yourselves. We're here for another five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Great job, everyone. Split stance deadlift. Great way to work that lower body, hamstrings, low back, and glutes, of course. All right, we're almost there. Last block of movements. Our last squat variation. So we're going sumo squats, and then we're going kneeling glute kicks. Let's get it done. So, again, if you want, grab your dumbbells. I'm going to use one dumbbell to, for this one. Or you, you can go without any hand weights. But what I want you to do is I want you to exaggerate your stance, right? Really open up the stance. Then I want you to turn your knees, your toes to the corners of your room. And then with that dumbbell or your hands, I want you to push your hip back, bend the knees. I want you to reach towards the ground, get low, get low, come back up, drive the hips forward. Sumo deadlifts. You ready for it? Three, two, one, let's go. So 30 seconds, team. Again, so you have to stay wide here. You have to turn your toes. You have to turn your knees to the corners of your room. And you have to get low. So again, drive the knee or drive the hips back, bend those knees, and then power on the way up. And don't forget to breathe. So you don't want to hold your breath throughout these movements. When you breathe out, that's when you can feel that work. That's when you get a little bit lower. That's when you can drive a little deeper on that exhale breath. We're almost there though. Three, two, one, and relax. Awesome. Sumo deadlifts. Take a breather, team. 15 to 20 seconds. Our next movement, they're glute kicks. So again, we can transition to the ground if you have the space and you're comfortable. But if you don't have that space, or just not comfortable getting on the ground, getting on your knees, it's a glute kick. So I'm using my hands, my left hand's on the wall. Starting off with that right leg, and I'm just kicking that right leg back. So you gotta lean forward just a little bit, and then you drive that knee, then you kick that right leg back. That's your standing glute kicks. But if you're with me, you're all on your hands and your knees. Let that right knee hover off the ground. You ready for it? Three, two, one, let's go. So again, this is a kneeling glute kick. And what I love about this movement is, of course, it hits your glutes, but it also challenges the core. Pull that belly button in, keep your core engaged. And you also get a little work in your arms, the triceps and the shoulders. But if you're standing, doing these glute kicks, you're still challenging the core. You're actually challenging your balance. And whenever you challenge your balance, you work your core too. So do what's worked best for you. We're here for another three, two, one, and relax. Take a quick breather. You can use it to stretch. You can use it to grab a quick drink. We get 15 seconds and we're switching it up. Great job, team. All right, I'm working on my left leg. Glute kicks. Everyone ready for it? We'll go in three, two, one, let's go. So again, it's a kneeling glute kick. So if you're on your knees, let that moving leg, let that knee hover off the ground before you come back up and you squeeze that glute. The flat of your foot should be going towards the ceiling. You got it. Again, if you're standing, you're gonna have to lean forward just a little bit drive the knees, kick that left leg back. You got it, make it work. We're almost there, team. We're here for another three, 
two, and one. Well done, everyone. Sit back on those heels if you need to. You can stretch out that low back. If you're standing, you can push the hips back and just reach towards the knees, towards the ankles, just for that quick stretch in that lower back. Awesome, awesome. All right, team, this is it. This is our last movement. So whenever you're ready, transition back to your feet. We got one more movement left, and it's our lateral hop. So give yourself some space here. And what we're gonna do is, we're just gonna laterally hop from one side of your mat to the opposite side. This is our burnout. We're gonna move for 30 seconds. We're gonna get that heart rate up. It's gonna challenge the outer thighs and the calves and the inner thighs. You ready for this? Oh yes, we're going in three, two, one. Let's work, 30 seconds. So again, laterally hopping, one foot at a time. You got it, you got it. Robo's there, breathe it out, stay low. Feel the work in the lower body. We're almost there, team. Keep it going, keep it going. We're here for another five, four, three, two, and one. Woo, we did it. We did it, everyone. Grab a quick drink if you need it. Take a breather. I got three quick stretches for you. Woo, <laughs> I got three quick stretches for you before we head out but let's take a couple seconds just to take a deep inhale, exhale, and breathe out that heart rate. Awesome, great job team. So whenever you're ready, meet me here. Let's open up that stance again. And again, we're gonna shift your weight to the right, push the hips back, feel the stretch in the inner thighs, lean forward a little bit, feel that stretch in that low back. Stay here for a breath, we inhale. When we exhale, slowly shift to the opposite side. Awesome, great job everyone. You guys really killed that workout. And then whenever you're ready, meet me back in the middle. And then we're gonna push the hips back. And I just want you to reach towards the ground here. And I want you to relax the upper body. Bring your chin to your chest. And you can move those fingertips from left ankle to your right ankle. Again, focusing on the hamstrings and that low back. We're here for another three, two, and one. Whenever you're ready, slowly roll it up. One vertebrae at a time. Perfect. Team, well done. Way to push yourselves, way to challenge yourselves. Always stay hydrated throughout the workout and throughout your day. But that's it, workout's over. If you guys have any questions, feel free to, uh, yeah, let's open up the floor right now. Todd, I see you talking, you got any questions?